Our next guest has been mixing science and humour for decades. What do I know about chocolate? Well, it doesn't give you acne. Some people say it's better than sex and it's delicious. The botanists call it Theobroma cacao. Theo, as in theology, meaning food of the gods. And even today, we still don't know how the chemicals inside it combine with our brain to make it so delicious. Would you please welcome the one and only Dr. Carl. <laughs> Dr. Carl, Sam just got so excited telling me mm. that he didn't think Albo should get married while he's PM yep. that he actually spat on me. Yeah, I didn't mean what? to. Is there a reason that we that we salivate when we get excited like that? Um, firstly, speaking is the most complicated thing that a human can do in terms of a muscular activity. Especially which is why for babies Sam. take so long to get there. <laughs> and you, you see an example of that when people are concentrating and they stick their tongue out of their mouth. Yeah. Yeah, right. So what happens is that your tongue has to do really complicated gymnastics all the time while you're speaking and also when in between not to get bitten. And there are many uh, sports people and intellectuals who, when they're thinking really hard, will try to camp, cut that noise down in their brain, release some processor cycles and get the tongue and clamp between their teeth and go, uh, and oh. now I'll start thinking about this. So getting back to coming out with saliva, talking is so complicated that you don't necessarily control how much saliva you've got and you sort of splurt if it happens to be generated a lot. So were you generating a lot of saliva? Were you very passionate about this? No, I was very passionate and I also... <laughs> I also want to say, Hamish, what he said, OK? That, um, that's exactly what happened, OK? You can make yourself salivate with uh, uh, a lemon. It's a good experiment to do at home. OK. So you just get a little uh, quarter of lemon, um, go to your bathroom, uh, look in the mirror, lift up your tongue and squirt underneath your tongue and suddenly you'll see two little bits of flesh have a mini erection and then start squirting... Hey, hey, hey. And then start squirting saliva out. So that's not what happened to me, OK? In the tongue. In the tongue, under, under yes. the tongue. The I tongue. did not have a tongue erection. Classic <laughs> Sam and his saliva erections. Every week we have to put up with it. Every it's, week. It's, so they just pop up and you can just see them get a squirt. Sometimes they can squirt half a metre. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my gosh. I thought we were going to talk about ESA, but this is the best. No, this oh, is that's, great. That's incredible. So this is mini saliva. Mini saliva <laughs> squirt. I'm sorry, everyone. Well, in terms of squirting... Um, <laughs> Has anybody been to a, a mother's group as a parent of a newborn child? Yes, yes. OK, so I, I, when I was there, when my wife was working, they were telling me that, they, that sometimes the breast milk could squirt a metre. Oh. Wow. Oh. I'm not, I've not tried. I didn't, I didn't give it a <laughs> squirt. So you're about ready to go and the baby cries and then the oxytocin kicks in, the muscles contract, squirt. Oh, my... I I don't think the word squirt's ever been said. I know, but I'm loving it. Is some of this going to be in your experimental comedy show that you're doing in Sydney? Is some of this kind of <laughs> squirting I it uh, <laughs> Working on it, just trying it on a naive yeah. audience. Oh, great. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Right you know what I'd love to know? What did you think of Blue Origin's space mission last week? Do you think it's a good thing to send celebrities into space? Is that going to advance us? Well, firstly... If you ask me, would you go into space, I would say yes in a heartbeat, right? Space being defined as 80 or 100 kilometres up. Um, for some reason, they seem to pick on people who are female. They've never picked on celebrity males before. Why did everybody pile in on these female-type people? Fair and point. I guess the, there's a whole lot of things going on, and the way out, in retrospect, would have been to say, thank you for the flight, it was amazing, let's give more money to NASA. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that would be the only way out, but at the time, in the heat of the moment, you, as the innocent celebrity person, would go, I've got no idea. Mm. Mm. Dr Carl, um, you are... We're so happy to have you on. Oh, you're thank the, you. You're Sorry, a good egg, you're the best of eggs. Speaking of eggs... I want to ask, what tastes better, solid or hollowed, or hollow chocolate eggs? Oh, <laughs> ah, it depends on the crystalline form. Okay. Of so, course, of uh, course. so, so chocolate, uh, the active ingredient, is, the chemical is called theobromine. Theo is in theology, God, bromine drink. So Linnaeus, the god of botany, called it the drink of the gods, and uh, it has six crystalline forms. And crystalline num form number five is the perfect one that just melts in your mouth, and the other ones either melt too soon, or they s sort of taste like candle wax. They've got the, oh. they, 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 they've got the taste of chocolate, but the mouthfeel is wrong. So it doesn't oh. matter what sort it is, mm -hmm. but it does matter the 
type of chocolate that it is. But, but if Sam really liked it yep. and his mouth got excited... Yeah. And he, was like, he was salivating a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd, sorry, I'd get one of those, those little things I got before. <laughs> yeah. so, but, but in general, there's another rule, which is that 80% of the pleasure of eating comes with the first mouthful if you're eating for pleasure rather than for nutrition. Mm -hmm. So in that case, you, you don't need much. You just need a first mouthful, so the hollow egg would be good from that point of view. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. I love it. If you like us, could listen to Dr Carl talk all Forever. night long, Absolutely. then head to our website for more info. The tickets to Dr Carl's experimental comedy show. Would you please thank the brilliant... <laughs>